roads, highways, uh, dealing with county council and district councils and highways agency and planning and all of that. So, your county council, yes. How yes, are you going to think through these problems with roads? Right. We have a slight luxury compared to you in that we recently became a unit re authority. So we have ourselves to deal with and our, only ourselves. Um, and one of the things that's come out of some of the feedback that we've had recently is Beta UK have actually asked us to put a planning person onto the project board so that we can get some direct input into some of the things that we're going to have to deal with. Now, one of the things that we're quite lucky at in the sense anyway is that some of our technical um, IT people are on the notification for when certain pieces of work get done. So if someone's going to come along, dig up the road, if someone's going to come along, do it, do something with the utility. Um, in theory, if someone is going to develop something new for the county council, but we'll not go into that one too much. Um, we do already get some notifications, so there is already some communications open anyway, but we need to improve them drastically because we're still driving along the roads going, there's a new building, why didn't we know? We need to go and please delete that from the recording. Yeah. We, um, <laughs> we need to go and put something in there so that that building is going to be properly connected or that that new whatever it is is going to be properly connected and we're not going to have to go and wreck it when it's a brand new build and brand new development. And it's what we're not too bad, I've heard, but we're not we're not brilliant. And the other problem we have is we're huge. We have 9,000 council staff. So we're just, we're massive, um, which is, it's all right that we can deal with ourselves, but we've still got an awful lot of people to deal with, an awful lot of communications to open up. So that's in a so nutshell. Joined up thinking is an issue. I noticed in the Cumberland Westmoreland Herald last weekend, a roadworks notification starting yeah. October the 3rd from Appleby to Sanford Road End. And so I immediately got in touch with Cumbria County Council and said, while you're doing the verges, could you just drop some duct in? I'll provide it or I'll go and put it in on an evening when they've all gone home. But, but that's the problem. There are ongoing roadworks right now that affect us. I noticed as we came in on the bus, there's a big lump of pipe going down the wall edge and you sort of think, could have run some fibre through there if we'd known about it. So getting the information flowing is really important. And you know, I've enough problems dealing with my one person at Cumbria County Council, but when you've got 9,000 <laughs> staff, <laughs> You know, we have problems with six of us on the parish council, don't we, John? No, 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 I never noticed those. <laughs> can, can I just put one thing in? When doing a road crossing, it's bound to be expensive. Have a look and see if you've got any little becks that you can put a steel tube hung at the top of it so that, and you divert your fibre, that's a damn sight cheaper than digging up the road in many cases. Well, I would like, this happened to me only two days ago. This is a problem for me. I need to get across here to these new build. Whilst trying to find accommodation for Donny in the village, and I got dragged down somebody's garden, and we lifted up this enormous lid and discovered an old Victorian drain that runs under this road just down there and brings me out exactly where I need to be. Um, but it's that local knowledge again and talking to people and foraging around in their gardens and stealing their plums and apples while I was there. And uh, so, you know, it is very much a case of getting down and dirty on the ground and looking at what, you know, Freddie, you're going to have all this to do, aren't you? With... I, think, I think we are, someone is, yes. <laughs> yeah, someone. <laughs> you have to take responsibility immediately. We've walked across fields. Nobody's mentioned this wonderful world of archaeology. Have you got that problem round here? Because <laughs> no, we have in the south. Very much so. Yeah. Hugely. Yeah. Will there is, hugely. There is a lot of and even things like area. ridge and furrow yeah. across fields, uh, your mole plough is going to be... <laughs> yeah. But uh, these are things to, to watch out for as well. Do you need, uh, do you need consent then to dig a trench across the field? Mm. I think well. you probably do. If, if, if there's anything of so-called so interest. Yes, well, the farmer is. will know because we dig yeah. trenches across our fields all the time to put drains in. No, we don't. No, we don't. No. No. Well, we, we actually have Roman roads mapped. Yeah, that's course of Roman roads. Well, the individual landowner will know. So I think, you know, what we're beginning to see is that it's not just the Environment Agency and highways and dealing with the governors of the school and the landowners and the people who live in the village and the Archaeological Society and everybody else will come 
come out of the woodwork. But the problem is that learning everything that needs to be known before you start appears to be impossible. Yeah. And I think you have to start before you discover what holes you've just dug for yourself to fall into. Because that's how I'm beginning to feel. Because it looked easy on the computer for 15 years, and then all of a sudden you start walking around the fields thinking, oh, what have we done? <laughs> right, we're going to walk to the River Eden.